Kate Milafolto, welcome to Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday today, second time I'm starting this video, which is actually a Saturday for me, but never mind. So, look what I rescued from the office waste bin. Yes, three coffee filters. Saved them, rescued them, plucked them out of the depths of landfill. So we're gonna make something stunning with them today. So we're making this, folks. Not this one, this was the mop-up one. This is the, oh, you see, I've laid it over the radiator to dry and now I've got stripes. Okay, note to self. Well, it's, it's not quite dry. Let's put it the other way and get lines going the other way. We'll see. Okay, and this one as well, pulled down. So let me show you how I did this. And we'll do a few others as well. So... Friday we're starting the um, Alice in Wonderland uh, with, uh, journal so um, I kind of chose these colors so I've got here wilted violet I've got my peacock feather refill thing I've got peeled paint and I have, this is just a distress Pro, it's not an oxide, frayed burlo. Um, which I might actually swap out for this oxide spray, crackling campfire. Okay, let's do that. Because I wanted to see what happens with your oxides. You get this at the bottom, so you just kind of get that stirred up like that just mix it in okay so anyway like I say I'm starting this over because I was using my markers and they were not water soluble guys so they once they down they down so to make for mark making afterwards they would be great if your paper still wet okay so this is what I do because I'm using lots of water and I don't want to waste ink I'm doing it in three layers but this is how I'm doing it. So this is going to be the one I'm decorating. So the one underneath is just a mop-up one. This is the one that I'm concentrating on. Okay. And then the third one is going to be a mop-up one. Great mopper uppers they are. Because of course they're designed to absorb water. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just spray it a little bit. Because it's going to get me nice and flat. Let's go nice and flat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to spray. What I'm going to do, folks, is I'm actually going to lift this up because I don't want it spraying all over my desk. And I just want to go like that. I'm just going to put two of these on like that. Just take that and wipe my nozzle according to Gail's instructions. Get you out there. Okay you down um, then let's see let's put our, our campfire orange and purple go stunning together folks I'm just doing a little bit um, just get the other edge here okay that okay put you back on my fingers all over my fingers no problem it's just okay now we're gonna do the burlap let's see if we can get a nice mist from this one oops yeah I think that went a bit wild folks over my clothes again okay now spraying more water because these are oxides so they are going to react to water okay see we're getting the little dots there okay so we're going to give that a minute give that a minute get some more on you and you on these cons while that we're giving that a minute we'll have a sip of our coffee that our lovely son made for us lovely okay now oh we've got some interesting things happening there now I'm going to take up my mop-up. 
Okay, wait, let's get some more water down there. Let's get you going, folks. Take my um, distress, just distress ink. This is Peacock. This is a, a ink filler upper. So because this this is a, um, a the ink it, it flows more. Let me just give you a spot there. Get a bit more in yeah, here. Just a little one. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna do folks. You see how it's it's blending? I'm gonna get the water down on there. Go, 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 go. And we're gonna ooh la la look making something. Um get that to run a bit stick that back down there let's just mop that up there mop that up there and we want stuff going this way why are you not coming this way come this way no no problem no problem we'll we'll put a little squish over there let's turn that round and go like this there we go there we go I don't want those like dark black holes let's get to so this is sopping now folks sopping sopping so here's where we take this one and we go and we lay them on top and we go come give us some of that yumminess oh look at that okay so I go like that and I go and actually this is I've got so much water on this one as usual just mopping up these so I think I'm gonna take another one and do another one okay let's uh, take this one off the radiator this one's gonna have lovely stripes because it's wet wet the other one wasn't wet wet when I put it on the radiator so I'm gonna do it like that so that my straps go whoosh. okay right we want to get a bit more water off you let's just go like this get a bit more water off okay let's mop up there right here do we have any other ink lying anywhere okay now I'm going to come and I'm going to put big drops See how it changes okay so now we're gonna leave that to dry okay next experiment uh, we've still got a little bit of dryness on this one so let's put that to one side I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to move him over here to dry whoopsie and then take my other mat and go like that let's do the shiny side this side let's have another sip of coffee okay now folks i haven't tried this like i said my first first start of this video was a disaster so let's hope the second half isn't either oh we're gonna need to get some more of these come you lovelies i know you put things nearly landed Flat. Let's go like uh, come on, I should have got more out. I didn't think I'd use so many. Okay. So let's go like that and stick you down. Now this one I'm gonna definitely wait because this is and get right to the edge. Okay, let's get you flat first. Okay. And no, I don't know how much of this color will come through on this side. See how flat it goes when it's wet. Flat, flat, flat. 
Okay, let's get you up because you curly. A bit more water, and we are using the powders. Using my uh, color burst powders. I only bought one set. These all came in the set. I don't even know what the set was called, and I got it on Amazon. I might. I love these. I might consider getting more like pastel colors. This is more autumn-y. So let's go cardamom red. Let's go. Let's just go. Looks like a little folks, but wait, wait for it. And I'm going to go olive green. There we go. And color number three, either umber or, we don't want lamp black, or cer cerulean, cerulean blue. We get lots of blues coming out here. Let's go a little bit of umber. Missed this whole spot here. Okay, so we've got something interesting happening here, folks. Now, dun -dun -dun. here we go. Oh, my soul. Let's get a bit of running this way. It's actually not even that wet. Let's go again. Let's get your wet, wet. And I want you to run. And I want you to run. Okay, let's go this way. So you see the air bubbles underneath are creating an effect so the water's pooling to the sides of the air bubble okay let's take you and see what happens I don't know how much of this color will actually get picked up oh this is sopping folks sopping oh this one fell off the floor look how this one's drying barbecue grill here we go let's do the other side okay come sorry sorry getting distracted Okay, let's give that a sec. Let's just wipe off the hands, yeah? I love these powders because you never know what you're going to get. Okay, let's take this one and just come mop up around the sides, yeah? Because I can see a disaster happening. Okay, that's just water. That's just water. Okay, let's get you off. Okay, I am going to leave that just like that to dry, folks. Just like that because it kind of looks like a tortoise shell. Now, I don't want it to get stripes. What am I going to do? Where am I going to put this? Okay, I'm going to stick it on top of my dustbin. Right. Oh, while I see the dustbin, let me show you what's inside the dustbin. See ya. Non-soluble, so it didn't think. Oh, I suppose I could keep this piece. This piece has got faint little. Let me keep that piece. Might use it for something. And you see how tough this is. I mean, it's sopping, sopping wet, but it takes a bit of force to, to tear it. So. Right. Oh, you're not staying on the top now. See how nice it dried on the. Okay, the middle's not dry yet, so I'm just going to leave him there. Okay, right, we need a bit more colour on here, and the only colour I've got is the cardamom. Let's put the blue. Just a little bit, because the, the umber came in like a... No, don't say that word. I oh, know, we don't need to say it just came in with a, a rush that's the word folks okay I'm gonna I kind of don't want these purple specks to disappear so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna you see I've got little purple specks in here just take a bit more over here just a tiny 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 I just want I just want tiny 
okay and then I'm gonna come on this one just come around my sides I've got little speckles going on the sides of this one come on just mop up that just mop it up okay you see there should I be brave and stick this on ya just go like that get some of that up see the thing is I don't want it coming off my other piece okay okay right oh okay so there's another one done it's not so dark it looks like the the mopping up pieces are more <laughs> successful than the actual pieces okay never mind okay look at that oh that's stunning oh i love it okay now where am i gonna put this piece okay uh, i don't want to put it on the where am i gonna put it where am i gonna put this folks hmm right okay i'm gonna let this dry look here i'm gonna go like that i want to see it's i wonder if it'll dry with like a half moon what you call it here's our reject let's just soak that up see even though this is wet it's still soaking up don't go oh you see oh it's making okay you know what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna put a wee bit of distress oxide on this on this one let's go like i don't want to i want i want it misted i don't want it let's leave that to see what happens just there just there and on my thumb look at my hands look at the state of my hands okay let me get some of this off here no soap and water folks soap and water right okay now we've done all these fancy pieces of paper we've got all this nice dried stuff what are we going to do with it what are we going to do with it here's what we're going to do with it folks i'm going to take this nicely and stick it over here and then I'll go okay so here's this so here's the first thing you can do where's our where's our paper sorry you would wouldn't do this on a thing you can cut it down to fit the size of your page okay and you can have an extra page in your signature isn't that fab wrong color you can go this way Look at that go that way and have stripes with your pink endless possibilities okay but what we're going to do with this one is we are going to we can you can make pockets from these let's go like that okay let's go like that and let's go like that uh, let's come, I'll come in a bit closer like that tuck this one in here and there's a pocket pocket there and a pocket there okay if you want to reinforce the top a bit you just fold this down like that and you can go like that and tuck this one in well which, whichever if you want more yellow or more pink on your thing there's a pocket folks you want to get you in there okay so there's your pocket why well, is he not lying flat anyway so you get the gist and then you can just um sew around let's do something else this one I think I will come and spray some more so that these little dots can get a bit more character on this one okay so you can go like this wait let's go like that go like this okay 
to suck at. Um, my pages aren't this tall. It's quite a bit. These are quite big things. I would sew here. Okay. Even sew around the whole thing. Sew and have this as a belly band and pocket. Okay. Can we think of another one? Okay, look at this one. Look how this one dried. I could actually come now and wet it and get all these wrinkles out. You can also iron it, but listen, folks. If I don't iron my clothes, I'm certainly not going to be ironing paper, that's for sure. Okay, so what are we going to do with this one? Um, oh, you know what I did see? So if you how, how are we gonna cut this okay this is this is actually a circle so if we come like this let's just go like that so it's come like this and I'm I'm looking at this line here folks so I'm following this line and I'm gonna go Okay, yeah, we've got a smaller circle. We can use this. We stick these together. If you if you put a little bit of coffee paper inside here, or any paper, and you um, glue it together, it will be firm enough for you to make this as a tuck. This, I'm gonna go like that. Okay. Then we need a piece of coffee dye paper. Have I got a whole piece yet? No, hold on a sec. Let me just get one. Hold on. Hold on. Right, folks, this is a uh, tea dyed piece of paper. I'm going to actually come here with this edge that's not so kosher. And look for my other mat, this one. Okay, it's just so I don't want to get more glue than what's already on here. And then I'll take my cut side. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? Because I know like, you know, go skew. Just so that I don't go skew skew. I'm just going to take a pencil line and give myself some sort of a guide. Just a guide. Okay, and I think because I don't have the glue that hates me, I'm just going to use some of this because it dries quickly, if it's going to come out. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, so just do a little, a little bit. Take your cut edge, and so you're sticking the edge so that it's straight on your line. Okay, this is a sewing trick getting round things to fit on straight edges okay and then you come and you just go like that and like it and like it and like it whoops no glue there get the glue down okay I think I might be able to take this all the way to the end okay and you just bring your edge onto the uh, onto your line and there folks whoopsie no no you need to be over there I always come back afterwards and and there you have a little paper ruffle. See, take that glue and stick it under there. Okay, so that's done on that side. Now it will flatten out in your book, but it's it's taken a boring piece of paper and give it a bit of vim and vigor. Now you know what I'm going to do now. So you take 
I'm just folding it where it was folded. Okay, like this. Let's fold it round again. Get my uh, straight edge lined up. There, my outer edge lined up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make this shorter, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make that that curve a little bit deeper. Just kind of make sure that we are. There we go. Right now, this edge we can come. Let me get my line down. I don't have to be so deep because our paper is not so wide. Okay, let's put that back where we can find it. Oh, look, this is all dripping out. Where's my get this from my finger? Okay, should be able to do the whole thing before it dries. Where's my pin? Oh my goodness, my pin has fallen into my rubbish bin. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think I might have another pin in here. There we go. My desk might be a mess, folks, but I know where everything is. Okay, before this lot dries, okay, I'm going to start over there where it's pink okay let's get you down oopsie come here here no no straight and straight okay there's our little ruffle right just like that folks and you have a page that's not so boring and once this glue is dry I will come and just rub out my uh, pencil marks where they are and there you have a lovely little ruffle on your page right folks I'm sure you can think of a hundred other ideas if you do have ideas let me know oh and by the way, I want to type out some quotes on the typewriter. Put your favorite quote, quote down on in the description box. So give me some ideas there. Ah, not in the description box, in the comments, folks. Anyway, that's me for now. See you Friday. Cheerio now.